Now we're going to be making pendekuber, which is Icelandic pancakes. Uh, they're a little bit different than their American cousin because we make them a little bit more thinner, so more close to a French crepe. So to start off with, I have some flour sifted here with a little bit of baking soda. I'm just going to pour that in. And to that, we're going to add some uh, sugar and salt. Just give it a little quick stir. And to that, we're just going to add some milk. We use a full fat milk. And really, this is where to differentiate if you're going to be thick or thin, you kind of have to control it with the amount of milk you put in there. So you're just going to start whisking it in from the middle. You just gradually pull in all the dry ingredients. Now we're going to add two eggs. Two. Give that a twist. A little bit of vanilla extra. Final, we're going to put a little bit of melted butter in there. So what we like to do is just melt it on the pan, which we've already preheated. And then just add that into the top. So. so I'm going to set my pan on kind of like a medium high heat, but you might need to adjust it as you go. Pan top, I have like, like a half a scoop of this onto the pan, and then immediately start swirling it. Try to just cover all the base. If you need just a little bit of drip in there, just go on that. It's perfect. It's perfectly thin. And then we're gonna let it sit there. Depends on what your heating is on. It could be 30 seconds, it could be a little bit like a minute. But what I usually like to do is it's hot and perfect. Uh, go around the edges using like a, something like a spatula. Just quickly kind of releasing. Just a little bit more harder, so we're just gonna put the temperature up and it should be like, immediately kind of have a release part. Just gonna finish off with a little sprinkling of sugar and then what we used to do, we do like a quick roll like this. And best to do it while they're still warm and the sugar will kind of like melt on the inside. You can have like a syrup and it's gonna be awesome. The other way, we do the, like a fold with the cream and the jam. So we get that squib of whipped cream. We do, we just give it up a quick fold like this, a little dent, flip it over. 